Hey Nano, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really good. So before moving on to the video, I'm going to tell you guys one thing. If you like my videos, if you're already a subscriber, please do turn that notifications bell on um, so that you can stay updated. But if you don't want to or if it is too much for you, it's okay, I can understand. So moving on to the video, uh, today I'm going to talk about my top favorite neutral lipsticks which I really wore a lot and I still like wearing them. So when it comes to neutral lipsticks, I tend to wear a lot of um, dusty rose shades and brown tone lipsticks. I really think they do flatter me a lot. Um, they make me look really flattering. And yes, if you want to know what are my favorite neutral lipsticks, thank you for watching. On number five, I have two lipsticks to show you guys. Both are from Black May 95 range. One is uh, Red Chaos and the other one is Scarlet Trail. The one I'm wearing at the moment is Scarlet Trail. And you guys can see, it's like a really, really beautiful brick red, but more on the subtle side, like it's not on the face kind of brick red. Um, so it would be a really good option for the people who want to wear it for work. Or college I'm not pretty sure whether you can wear this to college or not yeah but for work um, this would be a really good option if you want to wear a red lipstick so this is how it looks it's a really beautiful red with orange undertones and it's kind of um, universally flattering shade guys and the most important thing I like about this 95 range is um, even though there are matte lipsticks they're not like totally totally drying matte um, they do have some sheen to it but you can obviously powder it down to a complete matte finish but the most important thing is they're not at all drying on the lips even though I wear it like continuously six to seven hours they do not dry up my lips and also they're quite long lasting I don't say nine to five but yes they do last on me like for four to five hours and this is how red chaos look it's again a really really beautiful wearable shade a lot appropriate for office um it's kind of a muted brownie rosy pink it's not red at all um muted rosy pink kind of shade again my lips but a bit pinkier kind of shade it's a really really good one again wait time and everything is pretty same with all the lipsticks in this range i do have one more lipstick from this range but i do not wear that often i think it's really cool um i don't wear that often but i wear these two a lot because they are kind of universal shades if i do a smoky eye i can totally get away wearing one of these so yes if you are looking for like a really really good neutral lipstick with a matte finish and um, which can give you a decent wait time do try these ones guys um, I think it's a lot more affordable as well I'm not pretty sure what is the exact price of these ones but I'll make sure I'm going to leave everything in the description box um, where you can buy and all the prices so make sure you check that out on number four I have this um, Miss Claire soft matte lip cream in the shade 13 as you can see it's pretty dirty and the cap is like a little bit broken because this one literally lives in my handbag it's kind of my you know on the safe side kind of shade when i don't know what to wear i'll go for this one it's a beautiful muted rosy pink shade guys perfect for everyday use as the name suggests soft matte lip cream it's not like totally totally matte at the same time it's not like way too glossy this one got like a really really beautiful moussey texture i know a lot of people compare this with nyx matte lip cream but i find this formula is more forgiving on the lips um, when you compare with nyx they are a bit more drier on my lips especially so yes this is like a really really beautiful formula and beautiful shade on number three i have this lipstick from color bar um i know you've already guessed it because this is quite popular one this is their kiss proof lip stain in the shade hot latte it's like a really really beautiful brownie pink guys but less pink and more on the brown side it's a bit drying on my lips um makes my lips really really, really dry but um, I still like to use this one um, because of the shade um, but whenever I wear this I make sure my lips are like really scrubbed and moisturized very very well because it is really really drying for me and my lips are like really really drying they cannot stand liquid lipsticks 
that is the only reason I don't tend to buy a lot of them but whenever I'm wearing this I make sure my lips are well moisturized um, and also this one lasts really really long um, until unless you eat a lot of oily food this one lasts really uh, long and also it's most universally flattering shade guys if you are way too fair it might look a bit more obvious but if you are my skin tone or deeper than me it's like a really really beautiful neutral shade on number two again I've got two lipsticks one from MAC and one from Chambord I'm going to talk about this one first this is from the limited edition range guys as you guys can see packaging is quite different and attractive yeah it got a really really tiny droplets all over the bullet i really really like the packaging this is from their alluring aquatic collection guys it is in the shade mystical so this is how it looks guys no surprise similar to the other shades i've shown you before yeah it's beautiful neutral rosy pink shade guys it's more kind of a my lips but better shade um it is there it is from their cream sheen formula guys it's not a matte lipstick so this one got that beautiful creamy finish to it so it's not drying on the lips the one thing i really really like about this shade is it's so close to my natural lip color so whenever i know that i'm going to eat a lot or i'm going to drink a lot i go for this lipstick because this is not a matte one and also when it fades as it is so close to my uh, natural lip color it do not look so obvious so i really really like to wear this one a lot and the next one is this uh shampoo extreme wear transfer proof liquid lipstick this is in the shade 482 um this is like a really beautiful brownie pink guys but more on the brown side but again really really wearable um i, I can say this is like one of the best liquid lipstick formulas i have tried it is not at all drying on the lips it is drying but after some time and that will not like really drying so it's like a really really good formula and the color is so good and this will last really really long um until unless you eat something really oily i really prefer to use this one over the color bar one because of the formula and i really like the color bar one for the shade only and on number one i've got this shiseido lipstick this is not only my number one neutral favorite but it's like my number one favorite from my entire collection it's my favorite favorite lipstick formula the shade the formula the long lasting power everything is so perfect just like a really beautiful deep brownie peach um more kind of a terracotta shade that's the best i can describe yeah it's a really really pretty shade guys it looks a lot flattering on me and even though if you are a deeper skin tone it will look totally totally good on you i don't wear this more often because this one is expensive it's kind of my precious yeah i don't wear this uh, more often but whenever i'm attending weddings or that sort of I do wear this one a lot because uh, most of the times I do play with my eyes more than going for a bright lipsticks. So yeah, I do a lot with my eyes. So I tend to wear these kind of neutral shades because they are like easy maintenance. And this one in particular is really, really easy maintenance. Um, this one got a really beautiful creamy finish to it guys. But surprisingly, it lasts really, really long. Like usually creamy lipsticks, they don't tend to last long. But this will last really, really long, even though I eat, it kind of leaves a tint behind so that I don't look like you haven't got any lipstick. This is that beautiful formula, guys. If you want to buy one lipstick, which you can love for your entire life, I'm not talking about the shade, guys, because when it comes to shades, everybody has their own preference. But I'm talking about the formula. It's a really, really wonderful formula, guys. Go give this a try. Um, and if you like it, thank me later. So those are my favorite neutral lipsticks which I've used a lot and I'll continue using them. And let me know guys uh, what are your favorite neutral lipsticks in the comments below. Let's see if you have anything in common. And yes, also tell me guys if you want to see more of these kind of videos in the future, tell me in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do. And if you like this video, give this a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.